Our four chambered hearts consist of two separate pumps, each with two chambers. One pump is for pulmonary circulation, that is, circulation to the lungs, and consists of the right atrium and ventricle. Oxygen depleted blood from the body empties into the right atrium through a large vein, the superior vena cava. The right atrium then contracts, transferring the blood to the right ventricle. Contraction of the right ventricle sends the oxygen depleted blood to the lungs via pulmonary arteries. The other pump, consisting of the left atrium and ventricle, powers circulation through the body. Newly oxygenated blood from the lungs enters the left atrium through pulmonary veins and is passed to the left ventricle. Strong contractions of the left ventricle, the heart's most muscular chamber, sends oxygenated blood coursing throughout the aorta to the rest of the body. The alternating contraction and relaxation of the heart chambers is the cardiac cycle. In the cardiac cycle, the two atria contract in synchrony, emptying their contents into their adjoining ventricles. A fraction of a second later, the two ventricles contract simultaneously, forcing blood into arteries leaving the heart. All the chambers then relax briefly before repeating the cycle. The period of ventricular contraction is called systole. The rest of the cycle, including relaxation of all the chambers, followed by contraction of the atria, is called diastole. At normal resting heart rate, systole lasts about three-tenths of a second, and diastole about five-tenths of a second. When blood pressure is measured, the higher of the two readings, systolic pressure, occurs during ventricular contraction. The lower reading, diastolic pressure, is measured during the rest cycle that occurs during diastole. The contraction of the heart is initiated and coordinated by electrical signals produced by the sinoatrial node, or SA, a cluster of specialized muscle cells located in the wall of the right atrium. Signals from the SA node spread rapidly through both the right and left atria, causing the atria to contract in smooth synchrony. The electrical impulse sweeping through the muscles of the atria eventually reaches a barrier of unexcitable tissue separating the atria from the ventricles. Here, the excitation impulse is channeled through a second small mass of specialized muscle cells, the atrioventricular or AV node, located in the floor of the right atrium. At the AV node, the impulse is delayed about one-tenth of a second after contraction of the atria to ensure blood is completely transferred from the atria to the ventricles before ventricular contraction begins. Left on its own, the SA node pacemaker would maintain a steady rhythm of about 100 beats per minute. However, heart rate is significantly altered by the influence of nervous impulses and hormones. In the resting person, activity of the parasympathetic nervous system, which controls body functions during periods of rest, slows the heart rate to around 70 beats per minute. When exercise or stress creates greater demand for blood flow to the muscles, the sympathetic nervous system, which prepares the body for emergency action, accelerates the heart rate. Likewise, the hormone epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, increases heart rate as it mobilizes the entire body for response to threatening or unfamiliar events.